Welcome to Luxor. This is the first 36-story, $375 million pyramid of the modern age. For that matter, it's the first pyramid built in several thousand years. But what you really want to know, and what has been the most closely guarded secret up to this point, is what this place looks like inside. So come along with me to view the marvels of Luxor. Now walking into the Luxor is supposed to be like walking into the tomb of an ancient Egyptian king, where hieroglyphics like these tell the story of the king's life and death. In fact, these are actual authentic copies of hieroglyphics found in Egypt's Valley of the King. You see, the Egyptians believe that the pyramids were man's stairway to the stars. The Luxor is supposed to be your stairway to the world's largest atrium. Right now, you're looking at 29 million cubic feet. Believe it or not, if you wanted to, you could stack nine 747 airplanes right here. But instead, stacked here inside this Egyptian fantasy land are three cutting edge attractions, three motion simulator rides, symbolizing the past, present, and future. The past, entitled In Search of the Obelisk, is a four minute motion simulator experience with the audience exploring an underground pyramid. Luxor Live is the present, told to the eyes of a New York talk show host, sort of a campy version of Geraldo in which you, the audience, will actually participate in a live television broadcast. And then there's the theater of time, a time tunnel of the future. We'll get back to that later. Of course, Luxor also boasts a casino with an Egyptian flair. Back over many of the gaming tables sits the Egyptian scarab, the beetle, and the Egyptian symbol for good luck. Of course, you're wondering what the rooms are like in this place. Well, don't be shy. Come on in, I'll show you. This is one of the more than 200 jacuzzi suites the hotel offers. There are more than 2,500 rooms altogether, and they're all done in an Egyptian motif, right down to the bed, to the headboards, to the pyramid-style lamps, and the hieroglyphics that decorate the walls. The rooms range in price from $59 a night to $500, and because they're all built on one of the four sides of this pyramid, they all come with a view of Las Vegas. I mean, this place is ancient Egypt, right down to the soap and the shampoo they give you. Let's take a look at that, will you? And by the way, there are no hallways in this hotel. Basically, the view when you come out your door is the atrium. All right, folks, remember I told you we'd get back to the future. Well, this is it. This is Virtual Land, a high-tech video playground where you can fly an F-14 simulator like this one. Believe me, the experience is pretty realistic. Wow. Believe me, you don't want to try that if you're prone to seasickness. But come with me now to the theater of time. <laughs> I mean, this is like walking into a movie set, and it should be. It was designed by the creator of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. When you walk through this time tunnel, it's really like walking into the year 2300. Inside there, they've got a screen seven stories high. No kidding. And seats that go up 70 feet. From there, you actually visualize the future. You see, Luxor is really a collision of the past, present, and future. That's why when you want to have something to drink, you come to Nefertiti's Lounge, or one of seven other restaurants for everyone in the family, even your mummy. Finally, the ancient Egyptians believed if you built yourself a pyramid and then placed yourself in a tomb, then your soul would travel up the sides of that pyramid on a beam of light straight to heaven. Here at Luxor, that light will extend 10 miles into space, the most powerful light on the face of the planet. So if you forget how to get here, just follow the light. Bill Spencer, Eyewitness News 8.